I've always liked chemistry, but I didn't really know what direction I wanted to take it. When I came to Ferris initially, I was in pre-pharmacy. I liked my pharmacy classes, but the more I took, the more I realized I like chemistry a lot more than I like biology. I am an inventive person. I like to kind of discover new things. And so coming into industrial chemistry, I found a world where that's possible. There's a lot of stuff that hasn't been discovered yet. People go out to work after they leave Ferris and they get this degree in industrial chemistry and it's not quite chemistry and it's not quite chemical engineering. So they're kind of in an area between both. Uh, so the two focuses are we have the manufacturing and the fermentation. Manufacturing, we're required to take a lot more plastics and manufacturing courses. So it's geared to end up in something like quality control or manufacturing management. But the other track is the manufacturing track and that's the one I oversee a little bit more, and that one's more general. Fermentation, you take uh, a lot of the hospitality programs, so you take the class that has to do with mixing drinks and the class that has to do with tasting wine, and then you actually get a specialized degree in the chemistry behind brewing and fermentation. And when I say fermentation, most people immediately think, what, beer. If you don't think beer because you don't like beer, maybe you think wine. But there's a whole lot more to fermentation than that. For me, fermentation is taking advantage of nature's biology, taking advantage of those enzymes and those molecules, because they facilitate reactions. They'll change A into B. And that's what we want to do in chemistry. Chemistry is the study of stuff and how it changes into other stuff. The faculty here are awesome. They're so helpful. They know that this program is difficult. They understand that there's a lot of aspects to it and they're very willing to help you. You have one professor that cares a crazy amount, that stays after, you know, more than he should. Like, he's just a good guy. Bill might be sitting in his office and he's got enough confidence in them that they can go ahead and do it. We're in here working all the time. We're prepping our samples. We're running our samples. It's extremely collaborative. We're all in here working as a group. But they also know that if something goes wrong, or if there's something they don't understand, he's 25 feet away. We have these eight-hour labs that we come in, and it's extremely small class sizes that we have here. It's about 10 students max that I've ever had in one of my courses. You get to know everybody in your class, and they can help you. You can text them on the weekends when you're doing homework. You can meet up with them, and they'll teach you what they know. It's just nice to be part of such a small community. Uh, it's not like where you have 150 people in a lecture hall. Yeah, very close-knit. I mean, I've met everyone and I know the first and last names. So, we come in in the morning and everyone's in a group. We get together, we kind of plan our day out, we go about our day, and it's just fun. I mean, a lot of it is to build on how people are going to take skills when they go out into the workplace. My proudest moment here at Ferris has got to be Caleb. Caleb was my first research student here, and he's the one who did the, the work on the poster across the hallway. We had a three-hour conversation, and he said, can I come in over the summer and do a project? And I said, I don't have any money. And he said, I don't care. I just want to do something cool. He wanted to get into fermentation and wanted to get into brewing. A three-hour conversation turned into a 400-hour project for him that summer and turned into a poster on the wall and an oral presentation for him at a national meeting. You're going to walk into the field knowing what to do. You should join ICT because it's going to give you a skill set that not everybody has. It's not really something you can learn just on your own. It requires a lot of time and energy and by the end you're going to have a really, really specific and very marketable skill set. You come out of this program fit to start your job and that's something that I have extremely appreciated about this program. I'm ready. I feel ready to start my job. There's a whole world out there. A whole world of analysis, a whole world of synthesis, a whole world of manufacturing that all depends on chemistry. And if you want to open yourself up to that, coming to ICT, you're going to be stepping into a great career.